so hey everybody today i'm on here to talk with you guys and um i want to kind of update y'all i want to like show y'all my unboxing video of my product that i got today so um first of all before i get into that i'm only today to tell y'all that i um occurred a sinus infection my previous vlog will show you guys and update you guys on what was going on but um the reason for this video today is just to tell you guys about the products that i'm using um to get a little better i'm still slightly congested i'm not as bad as i was um when this first secured so um today i just received my kit for my breathing treatment supplies so first thing is first this is the nebulizer kit this is one of a mat it's a mask i can use i don't know if a lot of people do vlogs on nebulizers but i'm doing one today and um the lady where i got it from already had um started doing the um she already had unboxed it but this is the instructions to the nebulizer. And um, this is another tube that came with it. Like it's different kinds you can use. Like you can just use the mouthpiece and this is the mouth one. Or you can just use the mask one to put on your face. And then um, inside this box here is the actual um equipment the actual nebulizer um and this part here is like where the little filter at that she showed me that would have to be changed if it gets like gray or dark brown so she did um advise me of that let me try to get this back in here oh and there's the little filter pieces that goes into the filter for train um for changing it so you guys, um, I'm on here today to tell you guys that I'm getting better. Like I said, um, just wanting to show off my equipment and show you guys what um, I got. And then the next thing I'm taking is Flonase. I'm taking this, this Flonase nasal spray. It's helping me a little bit with the congestion. My face went down. Um, I guess the antibiotic is working. Um, this is the antibiotic that I'm taking. You guys can see that. But it's called the Doxycline, Doxycline and that works for the sinus infection. I still have headaches every day. Um, so I had to like take some Tylenol or ibuprofen to help with the headaches along with this medicine. I don't mix them, I just take them like two hour prior because I'm not supposed to be taking like antiacids and things like this with this. If I do to choose to take it, it says take this drug before or two after, after the antiacids or iron or vitamins. So I have not been taking my prenatal. I have stopped taking my prenatal three days ago because I didn't know if it was going to conflict with this because it said that on the bottle, but I was just like, man, screw it. I'm not taking it. So the hospital, I mean, the urgent care sent me home with my mouthpiece that I use. And this is the one I was telling y'all that's like straight, just the piece that you can, you know, bring you into. So I was taking this. Um, she gave me this to take with me home to use with the machine. And then, um, not but let, but not to least, um, I have here an inhaler, like, um, because my asthma is serious, y'all, so I got a butyrol to use, um, when I have those minor flare-ups, like, I had need, I needed the treatment, don't get me wrong, and I still need the treatment because I got to finish breaking up the congestion in my chest and the sinus drainage that's occurring. So I still got to take this, um, use this breathing treatment. I think she said do it like six hours for a day. Like, you know, just do it 
um, maybe three times in one day because you do it like for five minutes. You only stay on the machine for like five minutes until like the medicine run out. And then nothing but not least the Buterol solution. And it's telling me like how much to put into it. And it says inhale three milliliters into lungs like every eight hours need for wheezing. She says six in the store, but I mean in the doctor office, but um, I'm probably going to wind up doing it the eight hours like this says to do. I'm just going to follow these instructions as well. But this is the Buterol um, sulfate medicine that goes into the little... Um, a little cup here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little clear, clear cup. I'm not sure if people usually use these machines, but this will be my second time. I had one like this like two years ago, but when my grandmother passed away and I don't know, like, I don't know if I left it at her house. I just don't know. So I have to, I just lucked up and got another one through my insurance. Thank God. So um, that's that. So I'm just trying to get better. I'm working right now, waiting on some calls to come through. And, um, I'm drinking a lot of water. If you guys don't know, I love purified water. I also am using my humidifier at night. I put that in every night. I make sure I put some water in it. Um, well, so far the water only lasts in it for one night. And then the next night, um, Excuse me. The next night, I ran out because it only lasts for, it's a small tank, so it probably only lasts for like a day and a half. So, um, yeah, I put distilled water in that and um, because I live here in the, like in the country, we use the well water, but whatever. Um, so, I just put distilled water in there and I use that every night so I can be able to like have that um have that good breathing um solution coming out the lavender scent oil smelling in the room it helps me sleep better it's clearing this up a little bit it's helping with that um so everything i'm doing i'm just trying to still get rid of this course of the sinus infection and they got me on the antibiotics for 10 days so that's just how serious this is you know so I just thought I'd get on here to let you guys know more updates about the sinus infection and let you guys know about the um, products that I received today in order to get better. Um, I did get some of my products, some like my antibiotic, I got like that, um, I believe I got the antibiotic like that Thursday and I was taking it so I'm still taking some, I got some left. And then I'm also drinking a lot of water. That's all I've been having to the urge to drink, y'all. I am not a water person, but um, that's the only time I really drink water. Like now, I just don't have the urge to drink sweets anymore. Um, I'm staying away from ice cream. Um, I did try to attempt yesterday to do a little bit of exercise and I did like 10 minutes in because you know I'm still under the weather and I don't want to push myself too hard because I'm still trying to clear up my lungs so I did something small yesterday um, working out is something that I'm trying to get my body adjust to doing it from home um but I just had started yesterday I said I'll, I'll try a little bit but I realized I couldn't go as hard as I need to because I would had to use I winded up using my my um my asthma pump so yeah I'm definitely trying to take this breathing treatment tonight I'm gonna do it before I go to bed so I can finish cleaning up my lungs a little bit better um my breathing is iffy so that's why I'm not trying to um work hard and do a lot I'm just lucky and blessed that I have a work from home job where I can just stay at home and don't really have to miss any days of work because I am able to sit at a desk. I don't have to be standing or be around people and things like that. So that's what's been going on. Um, if you guys are new, please give this video a thumbs up if you love it. 
And if you thought this stuff was helpful to you, if anybody's suffering with asthma problems, um, anybody suffering from having sinuses and allergy problems, please comment below, share my thought, um, share your thoughts. I'm sorry, share your thoughts. Tell me what you do to get rid of the problems that you get every year because these sinuses aren't no joke. Um, just let me know what y'all did, what steps y'all took to get better after having a sinus infection. Thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and y'all have a great day. Bye.